Hello and welcome to FSM News. I am Chantel Jefferson. And I am Charlotte Agnew. FSM News is a product of Free Spirit Media, which is a nonprofit organization that empowers youth voice. FSM News. Black History Month wrapped up recently, and we wanted to take time to reflect on what the celebration meant for today's generation. Here's Selena McAtee with the story. Black History Month is a time to celebrate black achievements. From creating the hot comb to inventing streetlights, many African Americans paved the way for blacks today. FSM interview others to see what Black History Month means to them. It means we take pride in who we are if we are African American or partially mixed, but mostly we celebrate what we have all together. Celebrating your ancestors and everything that they accomplished for us because it's like if they hadn't done the things that they did do, we wouldn't have the majority of the things that we have today. While many appreciate Black History Month, others feel it should be expanded. I say it should be celebrated more than one month in order to keep everybody's pride and confidence within our race. We went through slavery and I think we deserve more than just one month as uh, retribution. Remember that Black History Month is a month when everyone should be proud of the long journey and struggle it took us to get to where we are today. It's great to see young people so interested in their history. Well, students across the city may get a double dose of history with the mayor's new agenda. Coming up, we'll show you why school dismissal before 4 o'clock may soon be a thing of the past. Hey bro, you got your seven learning hours done? Service learning hours. What? What's that? What you mean you don't know about no service learning hours, bro? Excuse me, but you really don't know about service learning hours? You need those to graduate. I know about some programs that you can join to help you get service learning hours, such as Build On. Or even you can ask a teacher. You need them to graduate. What are you waiting for? Get, get your, your service, service learning, learning hours, hours now. now. Some argue that many Chicago public schools aren't doing enough to educate students. Mayor Rahm Emanuel and CPS Superintendent John Klopazar hope to enhance learning with longer school days. Here's more on the debate. Chicago public school students are in class for five hours and 45 minutes, but new changes may extend next year's school days to seven and a half. There are mixed reviews on this issue. The longer school days will be beneficial for the students that are behind, as far as students that are sorely behind in classes, that way they can make up time. I feel like most of the time they drag you out because then you still have to go home and do homework. Yeah, parents may appreciate the new schedule. It should be a good thing for that kids who want to be in school and want to be in school longer because you get a better education. That should be a, that shouldn't be a problem for a parent. That should be something that should be applauded. My parents love it. Like they like it, but they still think I work too hard. CPS officials hope that longer school days will help failing students, but some feel that this will not tackle the problems. Well, I don't think that that's the answer necessarily. I think educational reform would be preferable to just extending the school day. In some ways, they could put more stress on other students because it's a longer school hour and some students may not be able to adjust to it. I mean, if, if, if what's being taught is, is not working, I don't see why lengthening that session will do any good. Spring is not the only season headed our way. Prom is just around the corner, which means teens are out searching for show-stopping apparel. Chantel, you're a senior. Are you ready for prom? For the most part, get my material soon. For those still scrambling, here's FSM's Deja Hill introducing us to a local boutique. Have you found your dress yet? Prom season is here. I'm standing inside of Cosmopolitan Boutique, located in Chicago's Beverly neighborhood, to find out the latest trends this year. Two-tone dresses are in. Um, they've been in for approximately three years now. As graduation gets closer, seniors are beginning to plan the night that they will remember for the rest of their lives. Prom. Both guys and girls are buying dresses and tuxedos. FSM has found that and more at Cosmopolitan Boutique. We do custom wear and you can order from our catalog, so you can come into our store and you can buy hanging stock. This store offers many services for teens who are looking for prom wear, corsages, jewelry, and clutches. You can get a dress as low as $199. You need a $100 deposit to order a dress or layaway address from our stock. You need a $200 deposit if you're interested in, in having a custom design dress. I found a mermaid dress. It's black and it's fitted at the top and loose at the bottom. 
It's very important because you never get that experience back. It's like a once in a lifetime thing. I like being able to make these girls look the way they imagine and what their dream is. I really enjoy it. There aren't too many places like Cosmopolitan, so if you're looking for a different look, check them out in Chicago's Beverly neighborhood. When we come back, we'll explore a big problem among teens, sexting. If you ever considered sending a naked photo of yourself via text message, this may make you think twice. Ooh, it's my baby. Mm -hmm. Their PSA had a powerful message. So many teens have been humiliated through sending sexually explicit text messages, but it's something that can be avoided. That's why so many programs try to keep students busy and focused on more positive things. And the Gary Comer Youth Center is one of those examples. For six years, the Gary Comer Youth Center has offered teens and children a place to go after school. How do their programs affect the youth in the community? I think immensely, actually, I think there's been an avenue for kids to come and and socialize, actually development from an educational standpoint, a social standpoint, obviously a recreational standpoint with the drill team and the gym. So I think the community has been impacted in several ways. I think it's a, a place of peace um, in the middle of a place where there's a lot of violence and a lot of um, unstable homes. So I think that this is a place where people can come and find family and find safety. I like game room and Dota. It gave us a place to go and not be on the streets. I like the programs that the youth center has to offer to the younger kids and the teens. They help like as far as like planting things and gardening and like making sure the community is very healthy. With getting teens and children at the after school, the Gary Coma Youth Center has been of a great help to the youth and to the community. Well, it's time for us to wrap up this week's newscast, but we'll be back next week with more news and more PSA. Until then, check us out on Facebook. Search FSM News. You can also find us on ABC7 Chicago's website in the community section. See ya! Free Spirit Media partners with schools and organizations to provide education, access, and opportunity in media production to underserved urban youth. Through hands-on production of their own media content, Participants build life skills in communication, critical and independent thinking, teamwork, and the use of technology. Believing that youth perspectives are a critical element of American culture, Free Spirit Media actively distributes student work to a range of audiences. Participants' dreams and aspirations grow, and in turn, their voices and visions benefit our society.